Hello, Taurus viewers. I'm going to look into your situation, see what's going on with your person. Could be an ex, could be a new person coming in. Let's just see what the story is. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so tell me, please be forward and direct. I call upon the guides of the Taurus viewers that are watching this. What is the story regarding their love lives? What do we need to know? What is the story? What's the energy? Please be clear and direct. What is the story? Could be an ex, could be a new person. Just see how it plays out. Just two. Okay, that's interesting. Death reversed, five of swords, ace of pentacles, two of swords, page of swords, six of pentacles reversed, six of wands reversed. I feel like this reading is really about you standing in your power. With the death reversed, I feel like it's like a situation that ended, but with it reversed, I almost feel like it's like, it's not, almost like it's not upsetting you anymore. I feel like this could also be a situation where there was like a third party and you thought that they were going to leave the third party and then they didn't. Because um, like with the five of swords, that's look at look at her. That'd be like a third party situation. You know, look how like defensive and angry she is. Um, it's competition. It's jealousy. And it's like you thought that was all over with and then it's not. And with the ace of pentacles, it's like you, th you wanted that new start. Um, but you're, you're in this two of swords energy where you know you see this this person this situation that's just kind of dead like this is this is the same i wish we could get out of this energy because it's like i really want a better story for you guys but i feel like for my taurus viewers whenever i channel you guys you know and it, it's up to you it's, it's your path of course but um but yeah the, the group of tauruses that i that i keep channeling it's like you guys keep doing this with the x you keep kind of going back and forth with the x um, I, I wish that you guys, I mean, cause you have new love just around the corner. So I know it's hard to let go of the ex, but he's, he or she is toxic, you know? And if this is your story, you'll know, like if this resonates, you'll know if it's your story. Um, but yeah, with the two of swords, it's like, you see this mermaid who's making this decision. She's, she's digging deep. She's, uh, facing the truth. You know, like, do you want to try to revive this situation that's dead? Do you want to look at this and try to revive it and try to make it come back to life again when it's really over? Or do you want to look forward, you know? Like, I, I think this is, I think you are actually finally coming out of this energy. I think you're finally realizing you don't want this anymore. You don't want to do this anymore. Whether this person is in, like, a third-party situation, they're just, they're hot and cold with you. They're just, they're very hot and cold. They're very, like, back and forth with you, I feel. Like, they're very wish-washy. And I really feel like you are going to get through this energy and you're going to meet somebody and you're going to be like, thank God I did not settle for this little boy that didn't know what they wanted, you know, or this little girl, however, whatever your gender is, whatever your situation is, it's, it's up to you. Um, I mean, you know what your story is, but you're, you're going to be like, thank God I did not settle for this person that like was, you know, cowardly, that didn't know what they wanted, that didn't know who they were. You know, this energy they have is very weak. They're, they're a very weak-minded person. They're not very... I don't get a great energy from them. I feel like you could do a lot better. I think you're just kind of going on this merry-go-round. You're just going in circles with this person. You get pulled back in. You have this chaser chasey dynamic going on with this person, too. Because I feel like you kind of... You, you're trying to be strong, and you try to shut this person out, and you try to say, like, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm tired of this. And then they feel your energy pulling away, and so they pull you back in. But they're not going to commit to you. That's the thing. If you've been doing this for months or years, and they still like aren't showing any real legit progress or any sign of commitment, then they're not going to commit to you, to be honest. I hate to give you guys such a harsh reading. I really hope we can collectively, you know, for, for those of you that are following me, I hope we can collectively get out of this energy and find you somebody new and better. Because again, I really feel like you're going to let go of this person and you're going to you're gonna be so happy. You're going to feel f free once you've really let go for good. You're going to realize that they were just dead weight that was dragging you down. And they're, this person is a child. This person is childish. They're immature. 
they're insecure, they don't know who they are, they don't know what they want out of life, they don't have a lot of really strong passion. They might have the appearance of passion because they want people to like them, but they don't actually, like internally, deep down, they don't have a lot of passion. Um, this person is not your equal. They're below you. They really are below you. And once you actually let go for good, I think you're going to be so glad that you didn't end up with them, that you didn't settle for them. Because if you settle for this person, I don't think your life is going to be happy. And you know who this is. If this is your reading, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So if this is your reading, you're going to know that this person is toxic already. You're going to know that this person isn't right for you already and that it's just familiarity. You guys are just kind of holding on because you guys don't want to be alone. Um, if this is your reading, though, you'll know it. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't somebody that you would be on the fence about. This is somebody, I mean, this isn't somebody that you would, like, be confused about. Like, you would probably know that this is a toxic person. You would know that this person hurt you and betrayed you a lot in the past. You would know that this person had a third-party situation. You would know that this person was emotionally unavailable, even if you're in denial about it. You know what I mean? Like, this isn't somebody who's, like, a really good person and they're just going through some stuff. No, this isn't that energy. This is somebody who's really screwed you over in the past. This is somebody who's cheated on you or betrayed you. Somebody who chose a third party over you or somebody who chose somebody who's hot and cold. Somebody, you know they're not emotionally available, you know? Um, but I feel you coming into your power. You are. You're starting to realize that you're going to be better off without them and that you're going to be so thankful that you you didn't settle because there's this new love. I keep feeling this for you guys. So it's so sad that you're holding on to this person because I feel this new love just around the corner. Like I feel like there's, I don't know if this person's like watching you and admiring you or, or if it's like somebody in your energy field, like a soulmate or a twin flame that's just waiting to come through. This person maybe wasn't, maybe like a lot of times you meet like the false twin before the real twin flame or like you meet um, sometimes, well a lot of people end up with soulmates. A lot of people decide to go with soulmates instead. So this could be a twin flame relationship, but it's not necessarily something that you want it to be I don't see this being a life partner, whoever it is. I don't think that you would be miserable if you if you got with this person. If this person did finally commit, they would probably be physically or verbally abusive with you and you wouldn't be happy long term. You would be, it's almost like the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. It's like you're romanticizing this relationship because of the loneliness and because of this person's absence. But if you actually have this person, like they actually did finally commit, which I don't think they're going to. I don't see that happening. But let's just say for argument's sake, they did finally commit. You would be sad and alone and you would be like, shit, there's probably you would be dreaming that there's something better out there for you. This person would be like condescending with you. They would make little stupid remarks to you. They would talk down to you they would, this person is no good for you. Like, you know that. You got to stop being, I hate to be so harsh with you guys, but if you stop being in denial and you face this truth and you let this situation that's toxic die finally, you're going to come into your power and you're going to manifest your true love, your actual life partner, a real man. This person's a boy or a girl or a real woman. Whatever your situation is, you're going to manifest somebody who's mature and who's strong and who knows who they are and knows what they want. You know, this was like a karmic lesson and you got to jump off this merry-go-round as hard as it is and stop letting this person screw you over like that. You know what I mean? Like they're just playing games with your, your head at this point. It's just it's like it's familiarity. It's loneliness. It's like you guys don't want to be alone. So you keep doing this, but but you, you know that you want to let this die. You know what I mean? You know there's better for you out there. And again, this person, this, this, this strong energy, this strong love that I feel, this mutual love that I feel in your energy field, I don't think your guides can bring it in until you fully let go of this person because they want to make sure that you guys, that you do it right and that you're actually ready, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically ready for this true love to come in. Because if you're still entertaining the ex, and this person comes in, this person is like a king or a queen or like the high priestess is, or, or um, you know, your king of cups, your king of pentacles type energy. They're going to come in. They're not going to, um, king of wands maybe even, but, but yeah, they're going to come in. They're not, they wouldn't, they, they're, they're mature and they know who they are and what they want. So they wouldn't entertain 
you entertaining your ex, if that makes any sense, which is why your guides can't bring this true love in until the ex is really out of the picture. Because, um, I mean, this person is like in your energy field. It's like they're waiting to come in. You might be having dreams or telepathically communicating with this person, but you either, I don't think you've, I don't think a lot of you have met them yet. Or I think a lot of you maybe like, they're going to be on like on your Facebook or on like social media, but they haven't like come forward yet because it's like, if they, if they were to come in now and they were to see all this drama with your ex and they were to see like the state you're in over your ex and they were to see like just the fact that you're holding on to your ex, that you're holding on to this emotionally unavailable relationship, they would look at you and they would be like, okay, this person probably just wants what they can't have or they probably are just all into the drama like they probably aren't ready for a stable relationship you know what I mean like they would be turned off because well I mean well yeah they would be turned off because they see that you're with your ex or they see that you're talking to your ex or they see that you have something going on with your ex still or whatever the situation might be or they see that you're depressed over your ex and so they're gonna look at you whatever the situation might be they're gonna this this new person would look at you and think okay he or she is emotionally unavailable. They're not ready for me. Um, and they would move on and they would find somebody else, which is why your guys aren't bringing this person to you yet because the ex needs to be cleared. The toxic ex needs to go and be cleared out of the picture so that when this new person comes in, you're actually open to dating and you're not, you don't have all this, this drama going on with your ex. You know what I mean? Like your energy will be clear. You got to do probably uncrossing work and healing work too and maybe some cut and clear. You might want to look into cut and clear spells to, to, to sever this tie with the ex. You know, we have red threads astrally, energetically that connect us to everyone we love. So you might need to cut those, those threads to the ex um, and really, you know, maybe do some spell work. If you do do spells, I would, I would look into cut and clear and then on crossing to heal yourself from this connection. But it's like your energy will be more clear then. And so that when this new person comes in, they're going to be like, oh, wow, you're like, you're, you're going to be free to be with them. You know what I mean? Like they're going to, because this person isn't going to play games. This is like a king or a queen or like an empress kind of energy that you're, you're manifesting that's in your energy field that's waiting to come in. They're waiting till the, the your, your guides are waiting till the toxic ex is out of the picture to bring this new love in. But this person isn't going to play games. You know what I mean? They're going to be more serious and they're going to know what they want and they're going to be wanting a stable relationship. And so they're going to make sure that you're, in the right headspace for a stable relationship with somebody new. You know what I mean? So, you know, if you're willing to let this go, I do feel like you guys, once you get to that point where your energy is clear and you're open to, to true love and you're actually open to a stable relationship, you're going to have that coming in, you know? Um, because again, this person's in your energy field. You're probably already telepathically communicating with them. Uh, but it's just a matter of clearing your energy so that they can actually come in and actually be with you. Your guides, this is probably your true love. So your guides are going to make sure that you do this right. They're not going to let you mess this up for the ex. So, so if you're, and they're not going to do this forever either. You know, this person is a potential life partner, but if you keep holding on to the ex for another, you know, for months, years, they're going to have this other person that's your actual true love probably move on with somebody else because they don't want to keep them waiting either. You know, this person's trying to manifest love. This person is trying to manifest their partner. So you really want a clear space for this new love to come in. Um, but again, it's up to you. It's it's up to you. But, but, you know, you have two potential paths ahead. One is you hold on to the ex and you maybe eventually probably not probably just more back and forth hot and cold being alone and miserable for another year or two years however long um maybe best case scenario you get with them and they treat you like shit and you're miserable and you dream about leaving and you dream about having true love and and you're you spend the rest of your life feeling alone with this person that doesn't understand you and doesn't appreciate you um if not, just continuing going, you know, hot and cold where they're in and out all the time. You know, option two is you let this person go and you have your actual true love. Somebody who's going to appreciate you and spoil you and love you coming in once you let go of the ex and cut and clear them and clear your energy. You know what I mean? So you, you got to choose between these two people. Um, but the ex is going to make you miserable. This toxic ex, I'm... I'm you have to pull your, your, 
you're in this space where it's like the grass is greener on the other side. You're romanticizing this connection because of your loneliness, but it's like you need to start being honest with yourself about how toxic this connection is, how lonely this connection is, how mentally abusive this person is. You know, you need to start being honest with yourself and stand in your power and speak your truth and make this decision and 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 really just be honest. And I think you are getting to that point where you're not giving this person your energy so much anymore. You're not giving them the public recognition, the attention. This person is probably a narcissist too. And you're not giving them the public attention and recognition that they want anymore, which is really good. You're getting into that space where you're like, you know what, I'm not going to play these games with you anymore. I'm not just going to be here whenever you feel like it. I'm not going to keep giving you attention because I know you're a narcissist and I'm an empath and you're just draining me and draining me and draining me. You know what I mean? Let this let the narcissist go so you can attract an empath. You can attract the person that's actually your match. You know? And again, they're already in your energy field. They're already, they're just your guides are waiting and they're waiting to come in. They're waiting for you to let go of the ex. And I hate to be so I hate to give readings like this. Like I like to give happy, fluffy readings. You know, I hate, I hate being, I hate giving readings like this, but it's it's the truth. And I, I know I'm putting so much emphasis on it, but it's like I see some of you, if you go down this path with the ex, I see some of you getting pregnant and being like stuck with this person for the rest of your life and you will be miserable. Like the rest, it's such an important choice, which is why I'm emphasizing it so much because it's like, if you stay with this toxic ex, some of you, God, I hate to say it. Some of you could get killed if they're physically abusive. There's actually that potential there. Some of them, some of you, I think this person was physically abusive. And I think if you got back with them, they would be worse this time around. I just sense it's like doom. I hate to say that. I just sense like it's bad. It's bad energy. For those that are just verbally abusive or just kind of like talk down to you or just did little, made little offhand remarks that weren't so great. Like you knew, I think deep down you were kind of like you were in denial. You tried to let it slide, but you knew something was off. You knew that wasn't okay with you. You know, it didn't sit right with you. It didn't sit right with you on a soul level, but you kind of let it slide because you were in love. Um, you know, and as an empath, you got to protect your energy more. You got to give that energy and that love to the right people. You have to balance logic and emotion. You have to find that good balance so that you're protected. You know, it's really important for empaths to protect themselves and to really read people and not just give their energy to every psychic vampire that comes by. Um, anyway, sorry, what I was saying for others of you, I actually feel like you could get pregnant by this person and you could end up stuck. Like you could, I hate to be so doom and gloom, but you, I, I see the potential there for some of you to be with this person 10, 20 years and have a kid with them, but you're all miserable. Like they're, they're talking down to you. They're abusing you. They're not appreciating you. They're not treating you well. And you like cry yourself to sleep at night and like wish you had left when you could, you know, or you wish you had, you wish you were somebody else. You wish you, your life would be miserable. Like, if you do, for the rare few of you, for most of you, this person is just going to be hot and cold all week. Like, for the, rest, for the rest of the connection. They're just going to keep being a narcissist and keep, like, just dropping you whenever it suits them. For a rare few of you, you guys might get back with this person, but they're going to treat you like shit. And you're going to be stuck with them. And you're going to be miserable. And you're going to wish that you had gotten out when you still could. So again, I hate to be so doom and gloom. I hate to put so much emphasis on it, but there's some of you that could potentially ruin the rest of your life, like literally be stuck 10, 20, 30 years with a kid with this person and, and just hate the rest of your life. So that's why I'm putting so much emphasis on it. Like you got to get out, like you need to get out while you can, you need to, especially if this was like an abuser be glad you got out, you know what I mean? Like, you don't want to go back to that. You will be screwed if you go back to it. It's going to be worse than it was before. They're not going to get better. They haven't gotten better. It's going to get worse. They're narcissistic, and so sometimes they might try to pretend like they've gotten better. They might try to pretend like they're, they're, they're charming. They're almost like sociopathic, some of them. It's like they put on a show for you when they want attention. They're very selfish and very immature, though. They just want what they want. So some of them, it's like they just pull you in. But once they have you, they don't care. You know what I mean? It's like they just like the... They, they're not capable of real love. They might present this illusion that they're capable of real love, but it's not actually real love. It's just that they like the attention you give them. They like the energy you give them. They're psychic vampires. They're draining your empathy. They're draining your heart and soul. They're, they're taking who you are. 
away from you. Um, a lot of you need to do soul retrieval after this too. They, this person has taken so much from y'all. Um, so please, like even if it hurts, just go through the pain and just be strong and just get through it. Because if you just survived a, a verbally or physically abusive relationship and you got out, just be thankful you got out and look ahead. And even though it's familiar, even though you have a history with this person, please, please, please let it go. Your future, your entire life depends on letting this person go. Like, believe me, you will not have a happy life if you stay in this connection. Um, show me the new person. Show me what we can, what's what's this new person that's that's trying to be manifested. Yeah. See, I think those were all meant to be. Yeah, look, Seven of Pentacles, it's like you bled so hard for this, for love, but don't give it to this person. You have a King of Cups. You have, you know, Page of Wands. This is like, this is passion. This is, this is passionate communication, a passionate new start. This is somebody who communicates, who's just passionate about you, who's, who's, thrilled by you who's amazed by you somebody who communicates in a passionate loving way somebody you know your king of cups that's everything this person is like gentle he's empathetic he or she is gentle empathetic pure loving strong masculine courageous um crazy about you you know like emotional like they know what they want they know who they are they have a good head on their shoulders. They want commitment. They're willing to open their heart to the right person. And you are the right person for them. Like, please, like your true love is in your energy field telepathically waiting for you to let go of the ex so they can come in. Like, do not. This person is the entire package. This person is amazing. This person is like going to treat you like a queen. You know what I mean? Like, please do not let this person, it's going to be such a tragedy if you let this person go for the ex. Um, they're not going to be in your energy field forever, though. If you don't let the ex go, they're going to end, their guides are going to end up giving them somebody else because, again, this person is ready for commitment. This person is ready for love. This person is ready for happiness. This person is is a very strong person, a very experienced person, a very empathetic person. And so if it's not you, their guides are going to give them somebody else. but So you need to make this decision probably pretty soon um, to start clearing your energy and let the universe know that you want your king of cups, that you want true love, you want a healthy relationship, you want somebody who's mutually supportive, you want somebody who's all in, not somebody who half-asses it, not somebody who's hot and cold. You want somebody who's just... who's just all about you and this person is so please please consider that um yeah again once you let go of the x and clear your energy this person can come in they're they're waiting for you it's so sad it's like i feel them telepathically like trying to manifest you and they're telepathic you guys are telepathically communicating with each other uh, so please let go of the old energy tune into this energy so that's, that's where you guys are at. Um, thank you for watching. If this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you'd like a private reading, you can email me. Thank you.